there are four different types of angles that you need to know. The first of which are right angles. So these are angles that are equal to 90 degrees. They look a little something like this and they are indicated by a square in the corner. Next are acute angles. These are less than 90 degrees. So might look something a little bit like this. You can see the angle inside here is less than 90. Next are obtuse angles. So these are bigger than 90 degrees, bigger than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. Okay, so they might look something like this and the absolute maximum they can be is 180, but less than 180 really. Um, but they have to be bigger than 90, so they can't be acute. Next are reflex angles. Reflex angles. These are the biggest angles and they are larger than 180 degrees. Larger than 180 degrees. So, for example, something like this, it would be the angle round here because that's bigger than 180. There are a few different ways to label angles, but the most straightforward is to use three letters, where the middle letter indicates the position of the angle and the other two letters indicate the two lines that form the angle. So for example, if I wanted to label ADC, we know it's gonna be at D, which is here, but to double check, start at the first letter, we're starting at A, go to the next one, so we know we're going to D, then go to the next letter, which we know is C, so it's the angle there. So it's formed by the two lines, but we know it's at the middle letter, which is D. We could also write this as this. So it's like a little angle symbol and then ADC, or ADC like this with the little symbol on top of the middle letter to indicate the angle. All three types of notation are perfectly acceptable. We could also call this CDA, because again, following the same process, you would start at C, go to D, and then go to A, and again, that forms the same angle. To measure angles, you're going to need a protractor. The first step when placing your protractor is to line the middle of the protractor, as in this little crosshair here, up with the corner, this point here. Then you need to make sure the zero that you're measuring from, so for example, there's a zero there, or a zero here, are lined up perfectly with the line. So I'm going to line that up with this line here, such as this. So you can see the protractor, the crosshair is lined up perfectly, and the zero mark is lined up perfectly with the other line. Now I need to be able to read off. So because I've used the zero on the outside scale, when I'm measuring, I need to make sure I use the outside scale as well. So going round, you'll see there's 140, there's 150, so it's somewhere in between those two. And you can see ex it's exactly in the middle. There's four little lines before it, so four little lines here, and then four little lines after it. So it must be right in the middle, so this must be 145 degrees. Drawing angles, again, you're going to use a protractor, and the first step is to line up the crosshair of the angle with the, where you want the corner to be. So I'm gonna line it up with the end of the line here and then line up the zero mark with the other end of the line, so here. So you can see the crosshair is perfectly lined up with the corner, and I've made sure the zero mark is also on the line. If I want to mark an angle ABC to be 40 degrees, then notice I lined up the zero on the outside scale with our line, so I'm gonna always use the outside scale, don't get the two confused. I'm gonna find 40 degrees, which is here. Then I'm just gonna add a little mark on the outside of the protractor like this, so I know that where 40 degrees is. I can label this C because we know we want it to be A, B, C, and we've already got A, we've already got B. Then I can remove the protractor 
and draw in the line from B to C. So we now know that this angle is 40 degrees. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic exam on our learning platform? Here you can answer a series of questions of various different styles and get instant feedback on how you've done, both in a written format, so a quick explanation here, and then also a video solution where an expert will talk you through it if necessary.